Okay, now that we've gone through the timeline of share-based payments, let's look at the vesting conditions that I mentioned earlier. The conditions upon which, if satisfied by the counterparty, make the share options, make the share-based payments vest, they become unconditional for the counterparty because they've met the conditions that we agreed upon at the grant date. So there's different types of conditions. There's vesting conditions, and there's other conditions. So vesting conditions is where we want to place our focus. There can be two types of vesting conditions. There are two types. There's number one, service conditions, and number two, performance conditions. Service conditions, as I mentioned in the example, requirement to complete a specified period of service. In that example, we said 100 options at three rand. If you work for me for three years, that is a service condition because the employee has to stay employed for three years after the grant date for him to get to the vesting date where the uh, share based payments, where the options vest to him, they become unconditional for him. That's pretty clear. For performance conditions, this can be two types. 2A is market conditions. 2B is non-market conditions. So market conditions, this relate to the market price of the equity instrument. We've given that example where you have, for instance, you tell the employee, these options will become yours if out of you working, if out of your performance, my share price increases by 15%. Or another example given here is to say that the total shareholder return for us needs to increase by 10%. So it's related to the price of the equity instrument. It's related to what's happening in the market. So that's a market condition, a type of performance condition. Another one is a non-market condition. That's our 2B. There is also performance, but it's not performance of the share price. It's performance of something else. So for instance, you may say, if you increase the revenue over the next year by 10% or over the next three years by 10% each year, then that's a condition I'm placing on these share options. The share options will become yours at the end of the period. Or we can say increase in market share. Don't be confused by the word market there. We're not talking about the share price market of the JSC where we've listed our share, we're talking about increase in the share that we have of the business. So for instance, if we are in the soft drink business and we have we have 15% of the soft drink industry, we tell the managers, if you can increase it from 15% to 18% over the next three years, our share of that industry, if you increase it by that much, then the share options become yours. It is related to performance but not performance of market share price so those are the vesting conditions that we have other conditions we not delve in um, delve too much into for instance if an em that an employee continues to contribute to a plan that's uh, employee benefits or specified uh, target based on commodity index um, those are other conditions that are not vesting conditions let's look at vesting conditions Another thing we need to remember here is for vesting conditions where it is market conditions, market conditions are considered when we are estimating the fair value at the measurement date. So we are going to consider market conditions. We've given a condition saying that you need to increase share price by 15% for you to get these share options. So it's a performance condition, but it's related to the market. If it's a market condition, we consider the market condition when we're estimating the fair value at the measurement date. And once we've considered it, then we don't think about it afterwards. We abandon market conditions after that date. So very important to remember, considered when we're estimating the fair value at the measurement date and not considered subsequent. For non-market conditions, remember, these are not non-market. It's a performance, but it's non-market. Also, service conditions is non-market. It does not relate to the market. We're telling the employee he needs to work for us for three years for the share options to vest uh, with him. So both of these 
do not have anything to do with the market, they are non-market. For non-market, it's different. We don't consider them when we are estimating the fair value at the measurement date, but we consider it subsequent. So, as at, let me give the example of the share options that we've said we've given you three years. You need to work for us for three years for the share options to be yours. As at that date, the service condition, we don't consider when we've granted them to you, we don't consider the three years, we don't consider our estimate of how many employees will stay or not. But every year afterwards, subsequently, we begin to do estimates. At the end of year one, we say, okay, we gave this to 50 employees. We think five of them will leave. So our estimate will be based on 45. So for non-market conditions, then is when we consider them at the subsequent uh, date. But we don't consider them at the fair value when we're estimating fair value at the measurement date. For a market condition, for instance, saying share price needs to increase by 15% over the next three years for these share options to become yours. When we are measuring those share options at the grant date, we are going to consider the market condition. We are going to use that in our model for working out what the fair value of those share options is. And once we've worked that out, we don't consider that afterwards. We're going to look at examples of service conditions, performance conditions as well, um, which are split into market and non-market. But just remember, four market conditions considered at the date that we're measuring the fair value, at the, which is a measurement date, and not considered subsequent for all other conditions, all other vesting conditions. We don't consider them when estimating the fair value of the share options at the measurement date, but we consider them subsequent. We have some very good examples for you to wrap your head around, around this coming up. Mm -hmm.